Welcome back to the Stoop Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. I'm here with Mark again, unfortunately. Hey. Uh, we do not get along these days, but I, it's another thing I'm going to blame on VAR. Because we, we, <laughs> we just don't see eye to eye on a lot of these VAR decisions. But So that's why we sit side to side and we face forward and don't look at each other. Anyway, Never. today we are back on, on Patty's Day. I forgot. Hey. Have, happy St. Patrick's Day. We, we are down to our, our empties because this is the second show of the day we're shooting. But now we are talking the big match of Friday. Here we go. It's the um, Leeds new, newly Fulham. promoted Derby. Uh, the newly promoted Derby. I guess not newly anymore. The season's almost over. But the, the newly promoted Derby of Leeds United versus Fulham. Now, these two clubs, yes, they were both promoted this season, but they are in vastly different. I mean, uh, Leeds United is over here in really in competition with, with what, w Wolves, Arsenal, uh, even Liverpool. We keep saying we keep saying that our clubs are going to finish <laughs> above Liverpool. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, Fulham is in a, a battle for their life right now, and. People have started putting money saying that Fulham's going to get out. People believe that Fulham's going to get out. What, what do you get think? Do you out? think Fulham, yeah, that they're going to get out of the relegation zone. I think I, 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 I think I it's possible. It. I it's, think it's yes, possible. possible. I mean, look, there's, there's the, the cream is rising to the top, but the sediment is falling to the bottom. And there's a lot of sediment right now. But look, out of all those teams that are down there at the bottom, I think Fulham's the only team that's actually gone, holy shit, we need to fix this. And they went out and got a bunch of players on loan. Mm -hmm. And they've kind of started to do stuff. I, I like their I like their manager, Scott Parker. He's not yeah. he's not bad. He's well He's a very well dressed well man. Well dressed fella, I guess. So yeah. that, that doesn't doesn't do much for him. It doesn't do much for him. So at the bottom of the table. But. <laughs> you got him and Bielsa who wears like what do I have? Put it on. Let's go. <laughs> um, he just falls out of bed. Yeah. Jumps on his bike. He's follows follows the about. blue line. Yeah. He's got and other shit he's to like, about. where's my coffee? Anyway, the last time these two teams played uh, ended up 4-3. Am I right? Yeah. Four, three. Yeah, it was another shootout. Is this not weird that I am now looking to you for my fact checking? This is, it this is, is It is really weird. A year uh, ago, he was like. Uh, Luke Kaku. I'm not even going to say Anyway, last time these two teams met, it was 4-3. But these two teams have met a bunch of times in the last year, the year before that, and the year before that in the championship. I'm very familiar um, with one another. So to bring in two people who know way more about football than either of us, I don't yeah. know how I started that sentence, but how I'm finishing it is like this. James Naji. Welcome to the What's show. What's going on, fellas? Doing all right, guys. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh. I was like, they left. <laughs> they were like, yeah, screw I'm these guys. Off. I was thrown off for a second by that. So, so was I. So was I. I, I was this whole big buildup, and then I was like, I, I don't know where I, know. I was going I with that. Uh, so, Naji, welcome to the show. I, I know you don't follow either of these teams, but you're the guy that we call when we're like, Need lottery numbers. We need some. We need some specifics about this match because this match, um, we're we're in a spot right now where yes, I would say yes. Leeds is the better team. Leeds United is the better team. They're clearly the bigger club, but currently, I think they're the better team as well. However, Fulham has been going at people and they've been playing very well. Uh, as somebody said it, one of us said it, where it's like. Fulham's playing very, very good football that gets them zero points um, <laughs> all the time. Um, so talk to me about this match. What do you see in this very interesting matchup going on? Guys, I just want you to forget what happened in the first game. Um, it was There was a second week of the season. Leeds United were 4-3. Four, four, there was seven goals called. Forget about it this time around. It's going to be a very tight game. Neither one of these teams want to lose this game. Leeds are struggling. They won only one from the last five games. And Fulham are also, you know, they won two of the last five games. We all know Leeds has impressed us with all their style of play and scored, believe it or not, 43 goals at this time of the season. They're better than Arsenal, better than Villa, 
better than Everton, but they are also conceding a lot of goals. They conceded 46 goals. And they have a problem with their best player, Calvin Phillips. He hasn't scored one single goal in the Premier League this season. He doesn't need he doesn't to score need to, goals. Exactly. Calvin never scores. Yeah, Calvin never scores. He scored a free kick. He scored on a free kick last year. Yeah. Yeah. I, they, yeah I, I'll they, take your word for it. Right now, though. They don't need him to score goals. They need him to be in in the starting 11. They need him to be the captain, the quarterback, the 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 the, the best player on the pitch who doesn't score goals. That's the um, problem. They haven't scored in the last three games, if you look at it. And Patrick yeah. Banford is not a guaranteed starter for this game. You, oh, he's, he's going to play. I think he's he's going to play. I think he's fine. I, I think he will. I think he will. James? Yeah, he's going to play. Yeah, James knows. James talks. He's going to play. James texts uh, Patty, <laughs> and it's Patty's day, so we have uh, to. Banford plays. Hey, no, Bielsa, uh, Bielsa in his press conference said that, uh, that Patty's going to be fine. Uh, Rodrigo, though, picked up that a That is the question back. mark. So Rodrigo may be doubtful. So Mr. Tyler Roberts gets another start. He gets another chance to prove himself, which, you know what? He um, plays well. He's been, he's been playing play better well. and better and better, so... We'll see. I mean, Rodrigo is clearly the better player, but maybe Tyler Roberts is the future in that position. Looking at a 31-year-old Rodrigo versus, uh, I don't know, 15. How old is Tyler Roberts? He's like oh, 22. 22. 22. So let's get into it. James, um, what are your fears and concerns going into this match? I know the biggest one would probably be that it's in London, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, still haven't, uh, you know, still we're what, by now uh, three years on, three and a half years on, still have not uh, broken that uh, that London curse. So I don't know what we need. I don't know if we need like, uh, like you a need Fulham. priest or something to show <laughs> up or, yeah, so, uh, something something has to happen to where we, uh, to where we break this. It's going to happen eventually, and I think it'll be this, uh, this Friday. Uh, I think it's going to happen then. And my other concerns are, uh, they have some they have some good players, and like you said, they have been playing well. Um, I really like uh, Lookman. I mean, that guy, the the player they have on loan from uh, Leipzig, I think, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. very very good, uh, excellent player. Uh, I rate him very highly. Of course, they have Loftus Cheek. They have a couple other people. Um, I was looking uh, at their injury report. Apparently, Reed might be questionable for yeah. this match. So we'll see how he does. If not, I mean, you'll see probably more of uh, Mitrovic and, uh, you know, whoever, whoever else they have to replace uh, to replace Reed. But, I, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting match. Um, but I think that, yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll prevail. Uh, on Facebook, somebody was mentioning a match uh, between Leeds and Fulham where uh, Ben White was choked or something like that. Yeah, by Mitrovic. That happened by last Mitrovic? season. Yeah, that happened last season. What was that so all about? They got into it last season. Uh, they got they tangled up and they got tangled up in the box. Uh, Mitrovic basically got uh, Ben White in like a, a chokehold uh, in the box. Nothing was called. Uh, Mitrovic, uh, yeah. So it's yeah, it's so crazy. That, that was, was crazy. Was but this yeah, a? He ended, up getting, he ended up getting retroactively. I think they looked at it and they ended up suspending him for three matches. Was it, a, was it a straight up like Shaka chokehold or was it a Harry Maguire chokehold? Yeah, was, I think it was more, I would, I, would, yeah, I would classify it as more of the Harry Maguire type. Okay. Um, El Nene. But yeah, yeah. It was, it was bad. It was bad and it was obvious. And uh, like I said at the time, they didn't catch it. And uh, Mitrovic ended up playing the match, uh, playing out the match. But uh, I think in retrospect, they went back and ended up getting a three-match ban. I, mean, I think that's what happened, if I recall wow. correctly. My, my memory might be a little bit fuzzy, but that was... So do you think there's any bad blood? Is there any hatred? Is there any, like, what, what as a Leeds fan, I know, I know you guys are a massive club and Fulham is a tiny club. Um, so, but you guys were in the championship for so right. long together that it, is there is there anything there is there is not really a rivalry I I but I yeah i don't i don't think so uh I, you know the, the thing was is that i don't think i don't think leeds fans except with, with a couple of exceptions in the championship i mean you had you know clubs like derby 
Uh, you had clubs like uh, like the Scads, uh, Nottingham Forest, um, Millwall every now and then, of course, would make an appearance. Uh, so you had these sorts of clubs that we have long-standing rivalries with. I mean, Fulham, of all the London clubs, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think we really rate Fulham that highly. So for us, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a non-issue, really. Uh, but I, but I, yeah, we, we were in the championship together for a while. We did have some very heated matches. And the one last year where Mitrovic uh, was basically choking out Ben White, yeah, that was, a, you know, that was one of those situations where, you know, we, we, we avenged ourselves. That's what we yeah, All right. at the, Go ahead, at Nadi. The, at the moment, I don't think Mitrovic is even playing. He's playing with Cavallero. He's playing with Lukman. And behind them is Ruben Loftus cheek mm -hmm. So yeah. um, uh, that's, that's, you know, he comes in if they were losing or if they need a goal or, you know, he, he's a big lad, so he can hold the ball when, when they need him, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Naji, tell me, uh, what does this match mean for Fulham? So We know guys, what it means for Leeds. They lost the last, the last game against Man City 3-0. You know, that's fine. That's understandable. Um, a lot of people are losing against City. But they won against Liverpool, 1-0. They won against Sheffield, 1-0. They drew with Crystal Palace, 0-0. What does that tell you? They do not concede goals that easily. They only conceded 36 goals this season. Only four goals more than Man United. They conceded only four goals more than Man United. So they are solid at the back. They, they, they nick a goal and they sit back, um, and that's what's happening with them, you know? Well, shit, well, what was that number again? How, how many goals have they given away? They conceded 36, 36 goals, only okay, four so, goals more than Man United. So they've, they've conceded 36 goals. They started they, the season off against Arsenal, lost 3-0. The second match was against Leeds, 4-3. So seven of those goals were in the first two weeks of the season. That's crazy. Yeah. So that means really since... Since week two, or or starting week three, they've only mm. given up twenty nine goals, which yeah. is which is coming coming in around a goal a match. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, that's which, impressive. which is impressive. Yeah, Fulham have been getting a lot of credit from everybody. They play good. They just don't win the game. Exactly. So so and they, they lost a lot of games one nil. Yeah. Now listen. Here here's where the leads the re counter counter argument is. Uh, yes, Leeds United haven't scored many goals in the last in in this six game rough run of form. Mm. The last the last game they scored was against Southampton. They scored three 0 They won three 0 against Southampton. Yes, when we were at Legends, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the problem is Leeds uh, all season when they've had a bad run of form, they turn around and smack somebody. And that's what happened to Southampton. You know, they, they weren't doing so great and they turned around and smacked Southampton. So this to me looks like, yes, nobody scores. People aren't, people aren't putting up crazy numbers against Fulham. But, you know, it is kind of a perfect storm right now, I think, where Leeds could, this could be a 5-0. Um, and that may be what I go with for my prediction. We'll see. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'd go five. I don't know. You know. I don't know if I'd go legends. five. But I'm not wrong. Fulham right, looked really like bad against that B squad Man City team. <laughs> that B squad could be any team. I know. Way. Anybody who's starting um, 11. Jesus. I still stand by Manchester City is the best team in the world right now. Booyah. Take it. Take it or leave it. Um, but, uh, James, am I right? You guys, you know, you have a run of form, and it's not like, oh, we came back and we're getting back to our winning ways. We won 1-0. No, you get back to your winning ways by smacking somebody around, generally. Yeah, I agree with that. And I'd also say that, you know, even though we haven't scored in the last few matches, uh, it has been for lack of opportunities. Yeah. Uh, we, we've created numerous opportunities. It's just the end result isn't there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, eventually that's going to happen. Eventually the end result will be there. And when that happens, then someone's going to pay. I mean, someone's going to get a, get a good hiding. And I think it might be, you know, Fulham this, uh, this Friday. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't see, I don't see this match. If we score first, I think this match will be an absolute massacre. Uh, if they yeah. score first, I think they're going to, like, you. like you were saying, I mean, you know, they, they, they nick a goal early on. Then they sit back sit and back, like Aston yeah. Villa yeah. did, and they frustrate us while we have to break them down yeah. 
and we just don't have i guess Aston Villa, you saw that we don't have that midfield attacking presence to break a team down with rodrigo out uh you know uh, roberts is a work in progress i don't know you know if he yeah. has that thing. but he'll, i mean he'll be essentially the number 10 for this match if rodrigo isn't able to play so you know we'll see we'll see how it transpires but i think that if we if we surrender the first goal i think you're, you're going to be looking at an entirely different match than if we score the first goal i mean a vastly different match i mean you're, you're looking you're looking at a what could be a three nil four nil score line or three one four one score line to something being a one nil one one type of affair yeah um well let's get into it fellas let's let's get into um our match predictions score predictions I'm going to start with Mark, the neutral fan. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess Najee's a neutral fan as well. But, exactly. But we'll start with you, Mark. You know, what do you I say? just, I, I so don't, I, I've never been impressed with Fulham. I think they're terrible. And obviously their record shows. And obviously they, they don't score goals. So they don't concede goals. Uh, I think, uh, I, I, I think <clears throat> Leeds is going to get, I think Leeds is going to get, that monkey off their back and uh they're gonna win their match in in london and i think it's going to be two nil uh i think roberts who i've been begging to score is gonna finally get his and he'll be on side and he, he will be on side he scored a goal every match i think i he's just think he's side. had his, he's had his chances <laughs> this time he gets his <laughs> And, uh, you know, I also think, um, I think Rodrigo gets one. Uh, no, Rafina. Rafina. Rafina is going to get one, and it's, that's, your, that's your match. 2-0. All right, James, let's go with you. I'm going to go with 3-1, uh, although I do think we go up 3-0, and they nick one late and make it 3-1. And make it to one. Um, I like what Mark was saying. I think, I think Tyler Roberts, if he, if he plays for Rodrigo, I think he gets his first uh, premiership goal. And uh, then from there, from there on, I mean, you go with Rafinha, Dallas, uh, Bamford. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get two more, I think. And, and like I said, I mean, it's all it's all a matter of being the first to score. We score first, it's all over. If they score first, who knows? You know, like I said, one no, one one type of affair. All right, Naji. Uh, I think Fulham are fighting tooth and nail to survive, and. In their in back of back of their mind, they are capable of um, overtaking Newcastle and Brighton. If they win, they will overtake Newcastle and Brighton on Friday. Mm-hmm. Guys, don't let the table fool you. They will nick a goal. Ruben Loftus Cheek, one nil Fulham. One nil. I hate you, Nadu. Hate <laughs> you. There was wow. such a there was such a love for each other last week I know. Yeah. and now <laughs> that's over it's over I, know. I was like look you know Najee yeah Najee's kind of a cool you know Chelsea scum fan now no no <laughs> well it's listen about the London bias London bias <laughs> all right well we're losing light and I know James dogs have to walk before they start getting pissed off at us so I'm gonna give you guys my score and then we'll wrap this up uh I'm not gonna go five nil I'm not crazy I'm going four nil I'm going four nil with, hear this, Tyler Roberts gets a hat trick. Oh, get out of here. What? And just <laughs> no to piss Najee off, Calvin Phillips is going to get a free kick goal. Just oh, for <laughs> shits and giggles. You know why? And Fulham is not going to score. You know why? Because who, who, did, who did Leeds United just keep a clean sheet against? How many millions of dollars did Leeds United just keep a clean sheet against? How many billions of dollars? I'm talking to you, Najee. And the cops are coming. The cops are coming for that. They're gonna shit, take Najee. them away for that prediction. Uh, I think if I think Fulham is gonna put uh, importance on Patrick Bamford, and they're gonna try and lock him out. Um, and and who's that kid? Tosin is Tosin on that team? Uh, he's good. Uh, Man City guy. I think they're going to put a focus on Bamford and they're going to put a focus on Rafinha and work on them. Meanwhile, Tyler Roberts, they're going to let him shoot all, they, all he wants because he's terrible. Uh, so he's going to actually get one and he's going to have a good game. He's going to get one. Everyone's going to be, oh, shit. And then he's going to sneak another one in. Towards the end of the game, he's going to get the third. And somewhere in there, Calvin Phillips is going to get a free kick um, and he's going to curl it in to the 
one of the I'm not gonna get that specific. <laughs> top left. <laughs> yes, I so, am gonna get that specific. So so the t so the top buns are gonna win. Top knots. Oh, not the top the knots. Buns. Top I hate knots. When they call them the buns. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, look at them with their buns and their pigtails. <laughs> no, they're top knots like samurai. Um, but that's what I say. Four nil. Wow. To the that's, mighty whites. That's there. crazy. I like it. Um, all right, fellas. Well, it's winding down. Don't forget to join us Friday night for right uh, after the, the post match. Post match. Fulham Leeds United, where you can all come and tell me, oh, how right you were, Lolo. You are so smart. <laughs> <laughs> you are so very smart. And um, Najee is so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. I know. I know. And my, uh, my, birth, my birthday piss up starts tonight. Yes. Yes. And so, Saturday, Saturday is James's, is James's birthday. So, so, so and Friday then, night. We're going. We're ready. going. Uh, straight post match, post straight, match, straight to happy, to happy hour. hour. I wish be, James a happy birthday. Wish Lolo a happy anniversary. That is that is my anniversary. I will be upstate and I will be doing the post match and happy hour, and then probably getting a divorce. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, she's like, we made it ten. That's enough. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see you guys then. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it for today, fellas. You guys happy? Right. Any last words? Uh, Anyone? Just, I hate Najee. Ah, <laughs> all right. Short lived. The taunt is over, Najee. They hit the like button, over. hit the subscribe button, click the bell. Don't forget to write in the comments of all that and share us with your friends That's and it. your enemies. All right? All right. Uh, we love you all. Be Come good. on, you gunners. Peace. Peace, guys. Leads, leads, leads. There you go. Peace. Thank you.